This is the Solidime P44 Pro, a pretty high-end PCI Gen 4x4 SSD with some rather impressive coated specs. I mean, up to 7 gigabytes per second reads and 6.5 gigabytes per second in writes, and better than average 750 terabyte written endurance ratings. All of that from a brand that you've likely never heard of. I mean, Solidime. Except you actually have heard of them. See, they are the ones that are making the Intel 660 and 670p SSDs now, plus these P44 Pro drives made of 100% SK Hynix chips. That's because Solidime's parent company is SK Hynix, one of the largest NAND manufacturers in the world. The name, they say, is a, a fusion of solid, like solid state drive, and paradigm. As in, they're a, they offer a paradigm shift in SSD tech. Amazing. Now that might explain why when you peel back the rather stylish sticker, you'll find an SK Hynix PCI Gen 4x4 controller, 1GB of SK Hynix LPDDR4 as your DRAM cache, and two SK Hynix, in this case 512GB, 176-layer TLC NAND flash packages. This is an SK Hynix drive with a new badge, but that's a good thing. SK Hynix are a top shelf NAND maker, so them creating a new brand to more comfortably sell drives like these at more consumer friendly prices is great news. So with the introductions out of the way, let's take a look at this thing and see if it's actually worth your cash. Now, Solidime has a 21 page manual on how you should test their drive where they show the one terabyte model I have here hitting seven gigabytes per second on reads in IO meter and 6.5 gigabytes per second in rise. But in my case, using Crystal Disk Mark, the closest I could get was 6.6 gigabytes per second on reads and 6.2 on writes. Now, to be clear, that is still a mind-bogglingly fast performance, but it isn't quite what they're claiming. Compare that to the Silicon Power XS70 I reviewed recently, which hit 7.4 gigabytes per second on reads, with albeit a little bit slower, 5.9 gigabytes per second on writes instead, and you'll struggle to find a metric here that the Solidime wins on. The only and actually pretty major win for the Solidime drive is in the sequential reads, with a Q depth of one and one thread, where the Solidime hits 5.5 gigabytes per second compared to just 3.6 gigabytes per second on the XS70. Moving on to ES SSD, you'll see again we are nowhere near the quoted figures for any of these drives. The P44 Pro sits in the middle of the pack, although towards the back of the second generation Gen 4x4 drives. Its read and write performance is almost matched though, compared to say the Samsung 980 Pro, which does have slightly better read performance, but with much much slower writes. With a 4 kilobyte block size, the P44 Pro is again at the back of the newer Gen 4x4 pack, with actually slower read performance than even the first generation Sabrent Rocket 4. With 64 threads though, the performance improves dramatically, and the P44 Pro actually beats out everything here in read performance by several hundred megabytes per second with uh, write performance is still pretty good too, although it is beaten out by the Silicon Power XS70 and the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. In ATTO, again, you'll find the P44 Pro in the upper bands alongside the other Gen 4x4 drives, although it's on the lower end of those. It peaked at around 5.8 gigabytes per second in writes and 6.1 gigabytes per second in reads. Compare that to the XS70 or the Rocket 4 Plus, which are sitting at nearly 7 gigabytes per second. Well, it's not quite at the same level. Interestingly, though, it did manage to record the best 8 kilobyte block size I've ever tested, especially in reads, at 113 megabytes per second, compared to more like 90 megabytes per second for pretty much anything else. Really, on that low end, especially on reads, 
it's really pretty strong. Being uh, for anywhere from 512 bytes to 8 kilobytes in block size, and it's generally the fastest there. Now all of that might explain why in my file duplication test, which stresses reads and writes simultaneously, the P44 Pro sat over 2.1 gigabytes per second, where drives like the XS70 generally sit below 2 gigabytes per second. This is one of the best results that I've had here, and would suggest that the real world performance is arguably better than what the synthetic tests would have you believe. It's worth noting on this one terabyte model that the SLC cache runs out after about 150 gigabytes of writes in quick succession, but realistically it's sort of off-peak performance is still around 1 gigabyte per second, which is about as good as a Gen 3 SSD can do at its best, so I'm not exactly mad about that. All in all, the P44 Pro is a pretty decent drive. It's not the absolute fastest thing on the planet, although its real-world performance is more than you might expect. The only catch is its price tag. The standard pricing for this is £125 for this 1TB model, which is a touch more than the Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus. Although I should note that at least at the time of filming, it's currently marked down to £107 instead. For that price, I would have no problem recommending it, although it is also worth noticing that the MSI Spatium M480 drive is currently just £97 for a pretty equal drive and the one terabyte capacity, so I think I would actually put my money there, but yeah, overall, I would say that the Solidime P44 Pro is a pretty good choice, especially at that discounted price. But those are my thoughts, and I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. What do you think of Solidime as a brand, the sort of relationship with SK Hynix and with Intel, and what do you think of the P44 Pro? Is it a drive you'd pick up yourself? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If you want to pick one of these up or just check out pricing when and where you watch this, take a look at the top link in the description, that will be a global Amazon affiliate link. And that's kind of it. If you want to support the channel and keep me making these videos, then hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon. Check out plenty of other videos on the end cards, including plenty of other SSD reviews. And you can also support the channel through YouTube, Patreon, uh, merch with hoodies or t-shirts like this one, or a lot of other affiliate links that are in the description that don't cost you anything to use when you're using them. If you're you know, buying stuff from, say, Overclocks UK already, that helps me out a lot. But uh, yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video.